Welcome to our sports briefing program. Today, we've got some thrilling updates from the world of sports. First up, Canada and Venezuela have both secured their spots in the Copa America semifinals with narrow victories. Canada edged out Venezuela 1-0, while Venezuela triumphed over Brazil by the same scoreline. Both teams are now set to face Argentina in what promises to be exciting semi-final matches. Next, tennis legend Serena Williams has publicly thanked Andy Murray for his unwavering support of women in tennis. Murray, who is playing in his final Wimbledon, has been a vocal advocate for gender equality in the sport, and Williams expressed her gratitude in a heartfelt social media post. Finally, in a dramatic twist at the Euro 2024 quarterfinals, Portugal's defeat to France was marred by Cristiano Ronaldo's overwhelming presence. The article suggests that Ronaldo's ego and dominance on the field hindered Portugal's team cohesion, ultimately costing them the match. Please stay tuned for detailed coverage of these stories and more. Guardian, the Copa America quarterfinal between Venezuela and Canada was a battle of underdogs. Venezuela, with a team valued at 67.6 million euros, featured key players like Yengel Herrera and Salomon Rondon. They had a solid run, including a 3-0 victory over Jamaica. On the other side, Canada, led by coach Jesse Marsh, had a modest squad with standout players like Jonathan David and Alfonso Davies. Despite their limited success in the tournament, Canada advanced to the quarterfinals with a 1-0 win over Peru and a draw against Chile. The match was anticipated to be a clash of surprises, with both teams aiming to make a mark on the international stage. Guardian, Serena Williams paid a heartfelt tribute to Andy Murray, commending him for his advocacy for women in tennis. In a video posted on social media, Williams praised Murray's career and his support for gender equality. She highlighted their memorable mixed doubles partnership at Wimbledon in 2019 and expressed gratitude for Murray's consistent efforts to champion women's rights in sports. Murray, known for hiring Amelie Moresmo as his coach and correcting a reporter's oversight of female players' achievements, has been a vocal supporter of women in tennis. Williams' tribute underscored the mutual respect and admiration between the two tennis legends. Guardian, the Euro 2024 quarterfinal between Portugal and France was overshadowed by the presence of Cristiano Ronaldo. The match, filled with talented players, was marred by Ronaldo's underwhelming performance and ego. Despite the brilliance of players like Pepe, who made crucial defensive plays, and the tactical prowess of France's Didier Deschamps, the game felt like a missed opportunity for Portugal. Ronaldo's inability to contribute meaningfully and his missed chances highlighted the team's dependency on him. In the end, France won in a penalty shootout, with Theo Hernandez scoring the decisive goal. The Portuguese players consoled Joao Felix, who missed his penalty, while Ronaldo walked away, embodying the frustration and disappointment of the match. Guardian, Ryan Garcia issued a series of apologies on social media after making racist and Islamophobic remarks during a live stream. The 25-year-old boxer, who was expelled by the World Boxing Council, WBC, for his comments, announced plans to enter rehab, citing struggles with substance abuse. Despite his apologies, Garcia continued to make controversial statements, including claims that a black man can be racist and complaints about unequal disciplinary actions by the WBC. His erratic behavior has been a concern, particularly following his suspension by the New York State Athletic Commission and a recent arrest for causing damage at a Beverly Hills hotel. Promoter Oscar de la Hoya condemned Garcia's actions, emphasizing that there is no room for hate or intolerance in his company and urging Garcia to use his time away from the sport to address his issues. Associated Press, Yankees manager Aaron Boone dismissed criticism from Aaron Judge's personal hitting coach, Richard Shank, who blamed the team's poor performance on their offensive player development. Boone acknowledged that public criticism is part of the job, especially during tough stretches, and stressed the importance of focusing on the team's performance. Aaron Judge, hitting like an MVP despite the team's struggles, showed little concern for the comments made on Twitter, emphasizing that it did not involve him. The Yankees, with a .248 batting average, have seen a significant drop since June, ranking 27th among MLB teams. The team has been dealing with injuries to key players like Anthony Rizzo and Giancarlo Stanton, adding to their challenges. Yahoo US, Gilbert Burns expressed high praise for Ian Machado Gary following Gary's unanimous decision victory over Michael Page at UFC 303. Despite some criticism of Gary's grappling-focused approach, Burns commended the young fighter for showcasing his improvements against a dangerous striker like Page. Burns, who has trained with Gary, highlighted the 26-year-old's potential, noting his dangerous striking improving jiu-jitsu, and high fight IQ. 
Burns also mentioned the possibility of a future bout between Gary and Shavkat Rachmanov, sharing insights from their sparring sessions. Burns himself is set to fight Sean Brady in an upcoming UFC Fight Night event, and he believes Gary has a bright future in the division. <music> Yahoo US, John Force, the legendary NHRA drag racer, is out of neurological intensive care following a devastating 300 mph crash that left him with a traumatic brain injury, TBI. In the aftermath of the fiery accident at the NHRA Virginia Nationals, Force was initially in critical condition, dealing with a fractured sternum and a right wrist injury. Now moved to acute neuro care, he can communicate with family and staff and has begun walking with assistance, although he still experiences periods of confusion. The 75-year-old's recovery is expected to be arduous, and he may soon be transferred to a long-term care facility specializing in TBIs. Despite the severity of his injuries, Force's storied career, which includes 157 race wins and 16 titles, stands as a testament to his resilience and passion for drag racing. His daughter Brittany, a competitor in the NHRA's top fuel division, has paused her racing commitments to be by her father's side during this challenging time. Associated Press, NHRA drag racing icon John Force has been moved out of neurological intensive care weeks after a catastrophic crash at the Virginia Nationals. The accident, which occurred during the first round of funny car eliminations, resulted in a traumatic brain injury and a fractured sternum for Force. His car suffered a catastrophic engine failure, causing it to slam into concrete guard walls at over 300 miles per hour. Now in acute neuro care, Force is beginning to walk with assistance and can communicate, but he still faces periods of confusion. Medical professionals emphasize that his recovery will be long and difficult. This is not Force's first brush with severe injury. In 2007, he was seriously hurt in a crash in Ennis, Texas, but continued to race at the highest level, securing his 157th NHRA victory earlier this year. His daughter Brittany, a two-time world champion, has been by his side, forgoing recent competitions to support her father. Associated Press, Shane Van Giesbergen has returned to Chicago, the site of his career-defining NASCAR Cup Series victory a year ago. The 35-year-old New Zealander, who prefers the countryside to the bustling city, has a special fondness for the Windy City streets. Last year, Van Giesbergen, a three-time champion in Australia's supercars, made his Cup Series debut in Chicago as part of Trackhouse Racing's Project 91 and clinched a historic win. His skillful navigation of the 12-turn, 2.2-mile course, despite challenging weather conditions, made him the first driver to win his Cup Series debut since 1963. This victory opened doors for him, leading to a development deal with Trackhouse and increased interest in Australian supercar drivers. Now residing in North Carolina, Van Giesbergen has become one of NASCAR's top road racers, securing wins in the Xfinity series. His success has also boosted ticket sales in New Zealand for the Chicago race, and a strong performance this weekend could further his NASCAR career, although he remains focused on enjoying the experience without added pressure. Yahoo US, Anaheim, California, the highly anticipated rematch between former UFC stars Nate Diaz and Jorge Masvidal is now official. Both fighters successfully made weight on Friday, with Diaz tipping the scales at 175.6 pounds and Masvidal at 175.2 pounds. The two engaged in a final, expressionless face-off, reminiscent of their intense rivalry. This bout is a sequel to their November 2019 MMA clash for the inaugural BMF title which Masvidal won due to a third-round injury TKO at UFC 244. The rematch is set to headline an 11-bout boxing card at the Honda Center, streaming on pay-per-view via DAZN and UFC Fight Pass. Yahoo US, Fata McLean's UFC journey has taken an unexpected turn as she bypasses Dana White's Contender Series to make her debut on short notice. Klein, 6-0 MMA, will face Jasmine Jasadavicious at UFC on ESPN 59 in Denver on July 13. Originally slated to fight Vivian Araujo, Jasadavicious, 10-1 MMA, now prepares to face Klein, who steps up a weight class to 125 pounds. Klein, a dual titleholder for CFFC and a main training partner of UFC contender Aaron Blanchfield, brings a perfect record and a reputation for resilience. Jasadavicious, with three wins in her last four fights, last competed in January, securing a third-round submission victory over Priscilla Cacoera. Yahoo US, Missouri football continues to build momentum with the verbal commitment of four-star wide receiver Donovan Oligbode. Originally from Naperville, Illinois, and now playing at IMG Academy, 
Oligbode is ranked as the number 11 wide receiver and number 86 player nationally for the class of 2025. His commitment follows that of J. Van Boggs, another top Florida-based receiver, marking a significant boost for the Tigers. Missouri, which had to fend off competition from USC, Washington, and Florida, now boasts a promising future pass-catching trio. With Oligbode's addition, Missouri's recruiting class has jumped to number 18 nationally and 9th in the SEC, positioning the Tigers for continued success. The Toronto Star, in a significant roster update, the Texas Rangers have activated reliever Josh Spores, who played a crucial role in their World Series victory by securing the final seven outs. Spores had been sidelined for nearly two months due to a right rotator cuff strain. His return comes at a time when right-hander Dane Dunning is placed on the 15-day injured list for the second time this season with right shoulder soreness. Manager Bruce Bochy expressed his excitement about Spores' return, highlighting his importance as a high-leverage pitcher. During his rehab stint with AAA Round Rock, Spores showcased his skills, striking out 12 batters over 6-2-3 innings. Meanwhile, Dunning, who has a 4-7 record with a 4.71 ERA, is expected to recover after some rest. Yahoo US, amid a challenging period for the New York Yankees, Aaron Judge's personal hitting coach, Richard Schenck, stirred controversy by criticizing the team's offensive player development in a tweet. Shank's comment pointed out that Judge was performing like an MVP despite the team's struggles. When asked about the criticism, Judge distanced himself, stating that he has no control over what others say and prefers to focus on his own performance. Yankees manager Aaron Boone also downplayed the remarks, acknowledging that criticism is part of wearing the Yankees uniform, especially during tough stretches. Boone emphasized the importance of staying focused and not getting consumed by external opinions. The Yankees have been struggling offensively, with only Judge and Juan Soto hitting above .253 and few players maintaining an OPS above .700. The Toronto Star, the Toronto Blue Jays made a roster adjustment by recalling right-handed pitcher Ryan Burr from AAA Buffalo and optioning right-hander Jose Quaz back to the minors. This move came ahead of their game against the Seattle Mariners. Quaz, who was called up when the Blue Jays designated reliever Tim Meza for assignment, appeared in three games before being sent back. Burr, 30, has not pitched in a major league game since 2022 when he was with the Chicago White Sox. This roster shuffle aims to bolster the Blue Jays' pitching options as they continue their campaign. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 do brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 do brief via email. We flow, we like a rim, our stocks to rise and sometimes shiver. Economy goes up and down. In this game, we wear the crown. <laughs>